everyone. Let's go and take a look at the iPhone 11 Pro and compare it against the iPhone 11 Pro Max and see which particular phone is the better one for you. Now, it's funny because both these devices are a little bit different. The iPhone 11 Pro Max is a bigger device, the iPhone 11 Pro a little bit smaller. There are pros and cons to both of these, but let's go and see which one's a better one between both. If you want to pick up either of these phones or some other ones I'd recommend this year, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both of these phones, the iPhone 11 Pro, both these phones came out in 2019, but the iPhone 11 Pro on the front has a 5.8 inch Super Retina XR OLED display. It's a very good display, you know, I, I like it. I don't really have too many issues with it. And it was a good panel when it first came out. It's a 60 Hertz display. You have the you know notch up at the very top, a little bit of bezel around it, nothing too crazy. But I do like this phone for the most part. I think it looks very, very good. It looks very sharp. And definitely for a panel that came out back then, it still looks very good. And I think Apple did a really good job with this phone when it first came out. And like I mentioned, I still think it looks very, very good for the time being. With the iPhone 11 Pro Max, this is a bigger size phone, but clearly it's basically the same type of panel. You're going to be getting a 6.5 inch Super Retina XR OLED display here. So this is a little bit of a bigger panel. And I will tell you it is a bigger phone. Like you're definitely going to feel like it's a bigger device. It's not just slightly bigger. The differences between both are very, very large. So you are definitely going to feel like you're going to be getting a bigger phone here, but you're also going to be getting a bigger battery here too, which is kind of a nice thing too. So take it as you will, but that's kind of how both these phones kind of hold up there. In terms of the rest of the build quality standpoint, you can kind of see that we do have this like reflective material on both, which looks really good. I really like the gold color of both these phones. And if I could go back and you know get a gold color of my iPhone 11 Pro Max, I would honestly do the same thing too. But I really, really appreciate the gold colors of both these devices. The iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max have as lightning on the bottom, not USB-C. They both have lightning, which is very nice. On the back side, you're also getting this triple camera setup, which is, again, genuinely very cool. I like having triple cameras, and they're giving you 4K at 60 on the back, which, again, is a super nice thing to have. I like having 4K at 60. And you're getting that both on the front and the back. And this is actually, I think, the first time we've ever gotten it on any iPhone. So this was the first time that we experienced that on these iPhones. And again, it was a very, very cool thing to kind of have that type of capability with these devices at those moments. Beyond that, though, you're getting wireless charging, frosted glass backs too. Both times we both saw frosted glass backs on our iPhones. And overall, still very good iPhones, IP certification, lots of good stuff. And they're both, you know, still good for the time being. I definitely do like both these iPhones from that particular perspective. And there really isn't anything super crazy or out of the ordinary from both these devices. Now, in terms of the actual software longevity, I would probably say both these are going to be giving you the same lasting software. There really isn't going to be that big of a difference from a software perspective here. They're both going to be giving you almost the exact same type of experience because they both have the same chipset and same internals. And so far, Apple's only ever given Pro and Pro Max updates the same exact update so far, as far as we can tell. So looking forward, there's not going to be too much of a difference here. But I will say battery life is probably going to be better on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. This is going to be a significantly bigger size battery you're going to be getting in your iPhone. And this was, I think, at the time, the biggest size battery we ever got on any iPhone when this iPhone first came out. And it was even bigger than the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So from this phone's release 2019 to 2020, it was the iPhone with the biggest size battery. And it still is an excellent size battery when it comes down to it right now. So that kind of covers it up there. Now let's go and do speed comparison between both these iPhones. The iPhone 11 Pro Max and the iPhone 11 Pro both have the Apple A13 body chip inside of it with four gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one's a faster phone between both. Now I will tell you between both these devices, you're probably going to be experiencing the same type of speed. So just keep that in mind. But I will tell you starting off with, I mean, it's probably not going to be too big of a difference. Things like that probably aren't going to be super crazy considering this one has a Wi-Fi. I don't even know why there's no Wi-Fi on it. It's so annoying. Getting into photos, let's see what's going on. Not that big of a difference. Camera, three, two, one. About the same thing, two, not that big of a difference. Clock, three, two, one. A little bit of a delay on the iPhone 11 Pro, not too sure why. News, three, two, one. And again, not really too sure what's going on here. Basically the same thing. Let's go and hop out of here. Settings, three, two, one. About the same thing. Let's get into some of these third party apps. Let's try Temple Run, two, three, two, one. And again, with these types of applications, it's going to be pretty basic. I say, I would say it's kind of the same thing, but I guess we'll see what happens. And the iPhone 11 Pro looked to be slightly faster, and some could make the argument that the iPhone 11 Pro, smaller, low-resolution display, 
this one could be faster because there's less pixels to push in the display. But the iPhone 11 Pro still is doing a really decent job at this too. And again, they're both going to be very, very similar, but I guess we're just going to have to kind of just continue on with these apps. The next one, we can try Fruit Ninja, or we'll do Subway Surfers. Three, two, one. Now, I know there's going to be an update available on one of these, so I'm going to have to just be ready to... I knew this was going to happen. So both of them had update panels available. However, the iPhone 11 Pros was slightly more delayed than the iPhone 11 Pro Maxes. So just a minor thing to kind of keep in mind. And it looks like I can't actually get out of that one, so we're just going to have to kind of get out of this one. Let's go and try something like Stack. Three, two, one. And a little another minor kind of thing going on here too. Hopping out of these two, let's go and get into this type of application. And again, I don't think there's going to be that big of a difference here either. You can see there's basically the same type of thing going on here too, which is honestly pretty good. Hopping out of these two, let's do steak versus blocks, three, two, one. And with this one, you can see the iPhone 11 Pro, again, just slightly tiny bit faster, but not that big of a difference here either. You can kind of see what's going on here too, basically the same type of thing. It's actually very hard playing two games at the same time. Netflix, three, two, one. And a little bit of a difference there too, hopping out of here. Quizlet, let's go and try Facebook, three, two, one. Two different pop-ups again. This one, the internet connection problem is so annoying, but overall, I'll definitely tell you between both these devices, I do like both these phones. I think there's a lot of capability between them. I don't know if there's one that I'd look at and be like, oh my goodness, this is the better one every single way of the week. But I do think there's a lot of capability between both. And I do like both these phones from that perspective. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. Camera-wise, basically the same type of camera that you probably expect from one phone to the other here too. Almost the exact same type of lens, same type of sensor. Wide ultra-wide telephoto lens, which again is a very nice type of camera to have inside of these things. I think if I'm going through and getting some sort of a camera, I definitely appreciate having a camera lens like this because they're both very good. 4K 60 on the front and the back, and there really isn't that big of a difference between either one of these lenses. I'd probably tell you for the most part, like if I'm going through and buying some sort of camera, both these are probably going to be fine for the vast majority of things that I'd probably mess around with. So you're getting 10x zoom on the iPhone 11 Pro. On the outside, 0.5x zoom. So very decent zooming in, zooming out that you're getting. You're getting video mode, which is awesome, slow mode, time lapse. Portrait mode, portrait mode and panorama mode. Still very good stuff. Again, not much to complain about here at all. It's pretty much what you'd expect, which again, it's a very, very good type of camera. iPhone 11 Pro, basically almost the same exact thing. This camera is also very solid. I mean, it's the exact same camera for the most part as the iPhone 11 Pro, which again is very nice. You're getting photo mode, video mode, slow mode, you know, time-lapse, portrait mode, panorama mode. Still lots and lots of capability and lots of good stuff from this camera too. And I don't think it's better than the iPhone 11 Pro. I just like the viewfinder. It's so much bigger on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So sometimes it looks like it's a better camera in some ways, but in reality, it's basically the same type of camera when it comes down to it there too. So to kind of sum it up, honestly, the only big difference here I would probably say is the battery life. You are going to be getting a bigger size phone with a bigger battery on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So for some people, that might be the bigger of a reason to go and upgrade a phone or upgrade to a phone like the iPhone 11 Pro Max. But beyond that, I think... I think I like the iPhone 11 Pro a lot. It's just a very easy phone to kind of use. It's just a super basic phone that I liked back in the day, and I still like it a lot. And I do think like if you're in the market and you just want to go and get a phone that just works, it doesn't really get that much. You know, this this phone is a really good option, I think. And for the price tag, it's a very, very good device that I like a lot. But I look at a phone like the iPhone 11 Pro Max, if you're okay with the size, then go for it. It's a bigger sized phone, but it's going to be giving you a really good capability when it comes down to it there too. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.